Hi everybody, this is Alita from Science Stars and today's experiment is going to be making a chemical reaction. For this experiment you're going to need a stir stick, some sodium bicarbonate or baking soda, a test tube, a beaker with water, citric acid and a pipette. You can order these science kits on our website at www.sciencestars.com. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some baking soda to our test tube. So carefully with your little stick, you're going to put in two stickfuls, if you will, into the test tube. Okay, we'll seal up the baking soda. The next thing we're going to put in is the citric acid. You don't need as much citric acid, but we'll do two small ones. Okay, then put your thumb on the top and give it a little shake so that it all mixes together. Okay. And now we're going to add some water. So what do you think is going to happen when we add some water? Why don't we get some predictions? What do you predict is going to happen when I add some water to my mixture of citric acid and baking soda? Now I'll give you a little hint. Citric acid, as you can tell by the name, is an acid. But baking soda or sodium bicarbonate is an alkali. And when acids and alkalis come together, they tend to react. So if they're going to react, what do you think might happen? Do you think it might change color? Do you predict that it might explode? How do we think to see if you can guess what's gonna happen before you actually do it? In the meantime, I'm gonna get my water ready and I'm going to use my pipette to suck up some of the water. So squeeze your pipette closed, put it into your water, open your fingers, and there you go. You've been able to get some water into your pipette. So we're gonna add it now. Hopefully you've had a chance to make a couple of predictions as to what you think is gonna happen. And we're gonna add it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this twice, um, one after the other. And I'm also going to make sure that it gets all the way down in. Oh. What's happening? Oh, be daisy. So it's overflowing. Now put your hand on the side of your test tube. How does it feel? Does it feel cool? It should feel kind of cool because this is something called an endothermic reaction. In an endothermic reaction, heat is absorbed, lowering the temperature of the mixture, thus making the test tube feel cold. So as you can see, we've got bubbles. We didn't get any color change, but it fizzed, so it reacted. So the acid and the alkali came together and when a liquid was added to it, which was water, it began to react and create all kinds of carbon dioxide bubbles. The same kind of gas that you would find in a fizzy drink, carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is also what we breathe out. Another thing that you could try if you have any food coloring is add it to the water and see what happens. Okay, we're gonna Make the reaction happen by adding our liquid. <gasps> Whoa! As you can see, it's overflowed. The carbon dioxide bubbles are trying to escape. So they're pushing upwards until they overflow. So that was a bit of messy fun. So as you saw today, we did a little experiment. We created a chemical reaction. We made two ingredients react together to form carbon dioxide bubbles. And we also made a few predictions as to what we thought was gonna happen before. And 
that is our experiment. So I hope you enjoyed carrying out that experiment today. Um, you could also try baking soda with vinegar. So if you have those two ingredients in your kitchen, it might be called sodium bicarbonate, the baking soda. Um, but if you have those two ingredients, you can bring them together and they'll react automatically. You don't need any water because the vinegar is already liquid. This is Alita from Science Stars saying have a nice day and goodbye for now.